Hey guys, SFP here and welcome. It's finally here, FIFA 16. I am so excited, guys. And this will be, obviously, my Fulham uh, Road to Glory career mode that we have here. And this uh, episode will be designated number zero. And I'll go into more detail uh, about it later. But here, let's actually choose the team that we will be going for. And again, this will be Fulham. And this is the team that you guys voted for, uh, for my Road to Glory. I gave you guys a couple options, one from each um, of the uh, second... Uh, second division teams here from England, uh, Germany, France, and Italy. For some reason, I forgot uh, Spain, guys, but that was just my that was my issue. Anyways, here is uh, the settings that we're going to have for this career mode. Now, uh, I've been dabbling on whether or not to do world class, and at this point, what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to do the uh, preseason tournament and see how that goes. Uh, so hopefully, uh, the preseason tournament will define whether or not we will continue with uh, world class, or we might have to bump down to professional. And the only reason I'm doing it is because I've been playing a lot of the demo last night before the game because I was so excited, guys. Uh, and uh, the world class games didn't turn out so well. In fact, even the professional uh, level seems to be uh, somewhat challenging for me. And so, uh, bear with me, guys. I did make the promise uh, that I would do uh, world class, and so I'm at least going to do the uh, preseason tournament on that level. Anyways, here we're going to choose a stadium, and uh, I know it's Ivy Lane, guys, but we want to make it Craven Cottage just to make it a little bit more realistic. And also, I'm disabling the first transfer window, and the reason I'm doing that is because I don't want to make a couple changes uh, at the very start of this season. I want to keep this team the way it is right now because if that's the case, then there's no point of me choosing just any random team if I'm already going to make changes to the team. There's no point, and I don't like these... Uh, career modes that I see where they basically shuffle half the team at the beginning of the season. So there's, you know, that kind of irritates me, guys. I don't know if uh, you guys feel any differently, but when I see that happening, it just, it irritates me because then why did you go through all the effort of choosing a specific team when you already had a preset team in mind? So there's no, there's no point in choosing a team, to be honest. And here I'm going to uh, change my name here, and it's obviously going to be SFP Soccer, for those of you guys who have seen my DC Night Career Mode. That's the name that I choose to go to, and obviously I'm American, or uh, excuse me, a U.S., uh, from the U.S., I should say. I um, mean, obviously I want the suit. I don't want the uh, the shirt and, uh, shirt and tie. That's just a little uh, too uh, low-key for me. I want that nice suit. I want to I wanna, uh, basically unleash my inner Pep or my inner Jose Mourinho, that kind of that kind of stuff, guys. I want to look fancy here, and we see here that uh, Fulham appoints soccer as new boss, and that's very good, guys. Uh, I'm very excited. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned it, but I'm actually very excited, guys. Um, and this is obviously going to be very different than my other uh, career modes. Oh, excuse me, my other career mode, because I've only had one. Uh, where basically, I know people have been uh, kind of uh, pointing out here and there that uh, I'm not that... Uh, uh, interesting or not that uh, I don't put that much emotion in the game and uh, like I said ahead of time guys uh, that's kind of just how my voice is I, I, it's kind of like a dull monotone voice and I'm, I'm trying to work on that uh, I know obviously I can manipulate it and, and at this moment I think the excitement is is enough that I actually uh, can display that emotion right now guys and I to this uh, right now I haven't actually played a single game at the moment because I wanted uh, to do this for you guys and this is the preseason tournament obviously we're going to accept because i want to see how well i do on this world class level because some people have been uh, struggling a little bit here uh, with the levels that they were in the previous fifa and that's to be expected guys that tends to happen um people that are in legendary go to world class uh world class go to professional which i guess would be me technically because i just made the jump to professional and here i'm going to check it out a bit and i'm going to go for the lower paying tournament just because I feel that that means that the quality of teams in the tournament will be lower so hopefully I'll have a better shot of winning and I guess uh, before we continue guys unfortunately for this episode zero there will be no gameplay and the reason I'm doing this is because I want to give you guys an introduction on how this uh, career mode is going to happen and so let's check out the team here that we have uh, the default team I should say uh, and we're gonna have apparently a 442 flat if I'm not mistaken uh, and this is obviously something I'm going to change here because I'm not a, part a particular fan of the 442 flat. I'm more of a diamond guy myself, so uh, I apologize if uh, the diamond formation does not appeal to you guys, but that's kind of the one I want. Uh, I've sometimes dabbled with a 451, uh, and basically I like to have four in the back. That's kind of what my my deal is. I don't I don't like having three in the back. I'm not sure exactly how that works in the game, to be honest, but I, I feel more comfortable with four in the back. And I guess, guys, since this is technically my career mode, I don't mean to sound as possessive as that. 
I want to go with what I feel more comfortable with, and uh, I'm going to go, obviously, with the uh, 442 diamond. And I'm going to make the change sometime later in this episode or in the next one coming up. Um, so here I'm going to see uh, the team that I have at the moment. And I see that Parker's on the bench, and I don't know uh, what you guys feel about that. I've been reading some comments on Foothead of how um, the uh, basically the bump of rating for Parker is unjustified. And, and let me... Uh, let me, I guess, you guys, let me know what you guys feel about that. Because, to be honest, I'm not that knowledgeable on Fulham. So, uh, I do apologize, guys, if I make some stupid remarks. Uh, or if I, for some reason, seem ignorant or um, basically unintelligent, I should say, on the team. I'm trying to learn as much as I can. I've been trying to hit the wiki there and seeing, I guess, the rivalries. Uh, somewhat of the history that Fulham has at the moment. And I'm still kind of learning about that because I want to implement that on this career mode. I want to, uh, as you guys who have watched my previous career mode, I'm um, not much to narrate uh, step by step and, and I am having a little bit of issues with that, but I like to converse with you guys. I like to get your opinions on topics from the team itself, from the league in general. Um, and so uh, obviously one of the main reasons I chose Fulham is because of uh, the previous ties to the states that uh, Fulham have. Obviously, uh, I'd like to imagine that Brian McBride was a fan favorite back in his time at Fulham. I know Dempsey had a nice run there at Fulham. Uh, other players, not so much. Like Eddie Johnson comes to mind who currently plays for DC United, which is my home team. He did not have a good stint there. Uh, but uh, Carlos Bocanegra, another uh, great American player, great American center back who is currently, I believe, uh, the technical director. Some He's involved in the new expansion team in Atlanta, and that's very exciting, guys. Uh, but I'm not here to talk about MLS, obviously. I'm going to focus it more on the championship, and uh, once we get promoted uh, to the... Uh, Bar uh, Barclays Premier League, I believe that's what it's called at the moment. I'm, I'm not sure because I used to call it EPL, but now I think with the inclusion of Swansea, uh, I'm not sure the English Premier League is uh, politically correct, I should say. But if it is, guys, let me know in the comment section. Again, like I'm saying, I'm still trying to get up to the rhythm of this. And here we're going to see the Leo objectives and the Cup. I believe the Cup uh, objective was to go to the round of 32, and that's uh, pretty doable. As for the League objective, they want us to fight for promotion. Now that is something that I'm not sure we're going to do, guys. I, To be honest, I think I'm going to struggle in this first season, and so I don't see me uh, actually getting promotion off the bat, but I will try my best, guys, and like I said, um, need be, I will probably lower the level. And here, guys, I'm going to show you the squad report, and as uh, I'm doing that, I'm going to explain a couple things here, guys. Uh, so basically, uh, for my career modes, I do the rules of three, the first one being that I'm only limiting myself to three transfers, per transfer period so that means basically three uh, transfers were basically I'm actually using money uh, I'm not counting loans as well I'm counting those as a separate three um, and then uh, free agents as well I'm, I'm trying trying to debate whether or not that's what I want to do but at the moment you know what let's just settle with three transfers whether it be loans free agents or actual transactions I'm gonna my limit myself to three so that's rule number one Rule number two is, uh, and this is why I'm showing you guys the squad report, is that I like to have this little rule here where I try to keep three players until they retire, kind of to add a little spice here to their career mode. And I don't think I've seen many people do that. I know uh, once players get old, that kind of uh, basically makes them uh, obsolete, I guess I should say, or makes uh, YouTubers want to basically sell them while they st still have some value. Uh, but here uh, in my career mode, I want to keep three players here until they retire, uh, with the exception of if they want to leave. And that's something, obviously, I can't I don't have too much control over. Um, but obviously, with that, there's going to be three players. I'm going to choose one. And at the moment, I'm not. I'm undecided, guys. I I'm not sure exactly which one I want to keep. Uh, but you guys will have the option of choosing two players out of this list. So um, if you guys need to go back and, and check the list after I just mentioned this, then feel free. Uh, just rewind the video, uh, rewind the videos if it were actually a tape. But you know, guys, just go back and, and see, I guess, here the stats and who do you think would be valuable uh, through the long run and, and could possibly be a, a legend here in Fulham during this career mode. And the last rule, and I guess a uh, semi-important rule, is uh, I like to do international teams. I like to do international tournaments. I know a lot of YouTubers don't do that because it's additional games and uh, the appeal of it, the uh, romanticism, if you will, of being an international manager uh, has kind of lost its appeal, but I uh, am a little bit different. I actually do like to uh, do those type of things. And so 
basically, I'm going to have three teams that I will automatically accept uh, to be their international manager. Now, uh, the same rule applies to the retiree or uh, retired player rule, where basically I will choose one team. And you guys will choose any other two teams. It can be any team, guys. It can be India if you want. It can be Australia. Whichever team you guys want. If you guys want to make it a little bit more challenging for me as a manager, then just you know choose a difficult team for me to use. Um, and obviously, as those rules apply, uh, I will basically uh, keep the team until the, the World Cup cycle ends. So if, for instance, I get the team in 2017 and the 2018 World Cup comes, uh, once that World Cup in 2018 is over, I am free to leave the team um, and just choose a new one. But most likely or not, I'm, I'm probably going to get fired, guys. And that, that's just a joke there. Um, but yeah, those are the, the three rules, guys. And now that there's actually the training feature, I guess what I want to do as well is I want to let you guys choose which uh, players I will put on the training uh, session. Now, I'm just going to choose five, or I just want five players per season. So... Uh, I'm not sure exactly if I'm going to decide two or if I'm going to let you guys decide all five, but I think for the meantime, I'm going to let you guys decide which five um, will go through the training montage or the training sessions. So in the comment section, guys, please tell me which two players would you like me to hold on to until they retire and which two international teams would you want me to manage. Anyways, that's it for this episode, guys. Please tune in for the next episode coming up Friday. Until next time, see you all later.